This is Ryan Abraham from uscfootball.com revisiting my three keys to victory for USC versus Utah. Of course, you saw here in the Coliseum, uh, Utah beats USC on a last-second field goal, so they did not get the victory. Two losses in a row, and the very first loss for Lincoln Riley here in the Coliseum. My first key was I wanted to see Utah be held under six yards of carry. The USC defense actually did a pretty good job. A little over five yards of carry for this one. We thought that a one-dimensional Utah team held for six yards of carry or less would be enough to get the win. Unfortunately, the Utah passing, the Utah passing game went crazy. Uh, over 16 yards per completion, which you wouldn't expect from Bryson Barnes, who hasn't been a very effective quarterback this season. So it wasn't the run game that killed USC. It was the pass game. My second key to victory was two sacks or less for Caleb Williams. He was actually sacked double that four times, and he was pressured quite a bit. It looked like he was kind of pressing in the pocket a little bit. They didn't get the offense going. Uh, you know, I don't think the four sacks was as big of a deal, but just really the overall pressure, I thought, uh, was bad uh, for Caleb Williams. And then my last key, my third key to victory, was I wanted to see Zachariah Branch get eight touches on the offensive side. He only got two, one pass catch and one rush. He did have the big punt return for a touchdown. It was a huge play for USC setting up the go-ahead touchdown with Caleb Williams. But they did not get Zachariah Branch more involved in the offense. Another failure, I think, here uh, for USC. So three keys to victory. They did good on one, uh, not so good on the other two. And then, of course, didn't get the win here against Utah. Six and two, licking their wounds a little bit, going on the road against Cal. And they got a couple cup tough ones coming up with Washington and Oregon. So this is my Ryan Abraham, three keys to victory. Make sure you check uscfootball.com for more.